This is how God provides other people's needs. He provides it through you. Isn't that interesting? That you can be a blessing to somebody else because of what God has given you. It's not to pamper yourself. It's not to, it's not to, to have all of the world's riches and in, in everything. It's to say there are people out there who have a need and I can help with that need. Listen to this verse, uh, great verse, 1 Timothy uh, 6, 17. Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Now Paul here tells Timothy several things about those people who are essentially rich in this world, who have money. He goes on to verse 18, by the way, and he says this, uh, that they do good that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate. Tell the rich people, according to this world, a few things. Let's talk about it. First of all, uh, Paul is clear on the audience. It's the people in this world who have riches according to this world. This is not talking about people who store up their riches in heaven. Here he's telling them not to be high-minded. Don't be arrogant. Uh, first of all, remember that God gave this to you, and as quick as he gives it to you, he can take it back that fast. Don't think that what you have really belongs to you. There's so many people in this world who have money who are arrogant about their money. Don't be high-minded. If you have piles of cash at home, fine. Don't be arrogant about it. So Paul is telling them, that they ought not to be high-minded. Make sure that those that are rich in this world aren't proud about their riches. It's interesting, Paul calls them uncertain riches. You know why he calls them uncertain? Because they're uncertain. They provide no value. They don't really have any lasting anything. It's just money. It's just money. Proverbs says, labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. The money goes, bye bye How many of you have seen that? About tax time. Bye-bye. There's no, they're all uncertain. You're going to spend your money, number one, or you're going to leave it to somebody who will squander it. That's the truth. You might as well use it to glorify God. 